Look at that Eevee! It's a teeny Eevee! <laughs> Today we're opening five Pokemon packages that include some of the smallest Pokemon things that you can find, including this set of boxes, which took over six months to get here after I ordered them. Let's kick it open with this package right here. Where my scissors at? Scissors at? Scissors at? Dude, I'm always losing my scissors. What the heck? Oh, they're over here. And I'm so excited to see what's in here because I don't know exactly what we're gonna get. All I know is small and mighty is what it's all about. Oh, I... Cut the box. We got stickers, and true Snorlax. Ooh, a nice little keychain here with Pikachu from first edition. And we have our main event here. And yo, check that out. We've got a blister in our hands, a tiny blister. Look, there's a blister on my thumb. I have a blister on my hand. I have a blister on my arm. All right, I'm done. We have a blister of base set with the triangle arrow. Ooh, thank you for hooking me up with that. And it looks like, because we got tweezers, we're gonna open this up and it looks like we can open this. In fact, let me see if I have, I do. Check this out. We got the OG, this is not the triangle arrow, but this is the base set unlimited blister pack next to the miniature version right there. And it looks the same. We got Wizards of the Coast down there. We have power up your Pokemon trading card deck. Yeah, that's really cool. So we're gonna open this one. Not gonna open this one. Right, we're gonna zoom in here. Wow, that's pretty cool. It looks a little sun faded. Somebody left it out in the sun, but it looks like Oh, okay. Here we go. Get the tweezers here. Don't want to damage the cards that are inside. Actually, maybe I can just... Okay, good. I can preserve the pack here, and it looks like there's an image of the pack behind it. That's kind of cute. All right, here we go. We're going to open. It looks a little pixelated. Yeah, my fingers are dry, but that's okay. We got triangle errors. So that means it would be uh, unlimited, not shadowless or first edition, but that triangle error was there to cover up the first edition stamp that was misprinted onto those cards. All right, let's see what we got. Can I zoom in even more? Yes, we can. We got a vile plume. This, these are so tiny. Oh my gosh. It's like surgery over here. Oh, Scyther, Scyther, let's go. I'm hoping for, you know who, first edition base set Charizard. Wonder if there's like energies in here, just like a real pack. Oh, we got Porygon. All right, going here. Oh, we got the Charizard Hollow! Let's go! Oh, it is actually hologram. Yo, let's go! Porygon had a whole bunch more. We got Cubone. Did we get a Squirtle? What is that? We got a Seedra. Okay, Seedra, Porygon, and of course, the Charizard. Let's go. We, we got a hit. We got to put it in a top loader. So let's, uh... All right, there we go. We got the, <laughs> we got the Charizard first edition base set. Boom, right there. All right, let's clean the desk real quick. Boom, next package. All right, let's not cut through whatever it is I bought this time. What is this? Oh, Ziploc bag with, oh yes. The world's smallest binder collection of, you guessed it, first edition base set. Look at that beautiful hollow. Where are those tweezers at? I could use those again. Wow, these cards are even smaller. Let's compare the size to yeah, that's that's the hollow we just pulled. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know. I think these are like, they're in there. They're like taped in there. Okay, so we, we're not gonna pull them out, but look at that. Got the Alakazam, the Blastoise, the Charizard. Where's the Venusaur at? There he is right there. We got the Ninetales, Raichu, Zapdos. That hollow is crazy. Look at the size of the hollow compared to the card. That is so funny. All right, let's keep going in here. We got the whole set, it looks like. Wow, lovely little artifact here. I love that there's an imposter professor. Bill, what's up, Bill? I love just the look of, it's like a little binder. Look at that. That looks like a legit binder from the side. That's so cool. A really cool relic to have. Let's check out the keychain. This is pretty cool. You could put it on your bag. We got an unknown first edition there. Pretty much the same kind of thing. We got the Charizard there. Very nice. And even the energies. That's really cool. Very, very good craftsmanship, especially at such a small scale. I love it. That is so cool. Boom, we got the purple package. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a few we got a few things here. Let's pull this out first. We have none other than the Holy Grail of all of Pokémon, a sealed first edition base set booster box. It fits in the palm of your hand. And we know that we cannot fit GI Joes in here, so, you know, it must be real. I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at the detail of that. I like how they put the fold in there underneath and uh it looks like a wooden block of sorts with just this pasted on. It doesn't look like I can open this, which is okay. They did also include some packs in here too. These are not 
first edition. Why would you include unlimited? Let's take a look at this Charizard, for example. This is what we're looking for right here. Come on now. Sorry, little flex, had to. Still really cool to see. And now I can tell everybody I own a first edition base set booster box. All right, and the other item that was in this purple package was, oh yeah, let's go. We got some old school Game Boy video games and also DS video games. Let's see what we got here. We got Blue. This is the one I played with. This was my first experience with Pokemon way back in the day. That is awesome. And then now we have Red. Which one were you? Red, blue, or maybe yellow? There's yellow. And then we got Diamond and Pearl. And these ones are a little bit better quality than those other ones. I think those other ones were made of foam. This actually looks like 3D printed plastic or something in there. Those actually look legit. These two packages came all the way from Vietnam and they are packages that I have been looking forward to for over six months now since I ordered them. So let's open these up. This I know I got from Etsy. It was a special order. Heroes Art. All right, Resin Studios, nice little sticker of perhaps the artist. Here we go. Ooh, yes, we have keycaps for your keyboard were poured in resin with some really special things inside. Take a look at that. So this is the Gold Star Pikachu, my chase card that I have yet to pull. Even though I have opened a few EX Pull on Phantoms. I have not pulled this card, but this is a chase card of mine for sure. And what you can do, as you can see here, is you can put it on your keyboard. And I'm gonna put it on my Keychron K2 in just a minute. This one, none other than Mario Pikachu. Gotta have Mario Pikachu, one of my favorite cards. The first card that I ever purchased in PSA form at Gem Mint 10. Next, we have, oh yes, my absolute favorite Pokemon, Houndoom. Right there, preserved forever from Neo, actually. Look at that, and you even see the hollow right there. I absolutely love this card. This is actually my favorite Houndoom card. And then finally, you gotta, you gotta get the first edition base set Charizard. Little cliche, but you know, you gotta have it. So what keys should they be? I would say uh, probably ASDW, gamers out there, if you know what I'm talking about. That is a sweet set right there. But this goes along with the final package that we're gonna open up today. Think. You're absolutely going to love it. I hope you're gonna love it. Same artist, thank you so much. Here we go. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are like little finger doohickeys so that you can, uh, that's exactly what they're called by the way, so that we can touch them without, you know, staining them, which I probably should have done before. Actually, we're gonna do that for this one. So let's pop these onto my fingers real quick. Oh, that one came on weird. Thumbs up everybody, yeah. I am a child. All right, here we go. We're getting fancy now. This is what we were supposed to do. The finger doohickeys, the foam out of the way, and yep. We have a space bar that is, look at that, that is so amazing, dude. Let's go, let's look at it, let's look at it. Here we go, we got Houndoom here, on the left hand side. Actually, I'm just gonna touch it with this anyway. We sort of in like a, a fire biome right there. And of course then we have Umbi, Umbreon in sort of a mushroom biome, a Minecraft situation going on. Look at from the top down, how sick does that look? Let's look from the back side, yo. It is 3D. And let's move over to the right hand side. We got, oh yeah, we got Pikachu, him awesome. And then we got Ray Ray right there, Rayquaza. Look at how sick that looks. That is a dope looking space bar. So there's nothing left to do other than let's get the keyboard and put it on and see what it looks like. Bam, bam. That's not how it's supposed to work. Oh yeah, there we go. Please fit. Yo, how sick does that look? That is so, so dope. Look at that, it's on my keyboard. Look at the space bar. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. I am so happy right now. Woo, okay, hope you enjoyed this video. We continue to open fun, interesting, random stuff here on the channel. If you wanna see some other fun, interesting, and random stuff, check out some of these videos right here, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.